Ever wondered what those little pop-ups asking you to accept cookies are all about? Every time you click accept cookies, you're leaving a digital trail. But what are you really agreeing to? We're gonna uncover what these cookies are tracking and how they could be putting your privacy at risk. Let's dive into the digital cookie jar. So what exactly are these internet cookies? And how do websites use them? Imagine walking into your favorite coffee shop and the barista instantly remembers your go-to order without saying a word. That's exactly how cookies work online. Cookies are small text files containing unique data that help identify your computer to a website server. When you visit a website, it sends a cookie to your browser, which stores it in a designated file on your hard drive. The next time you visit that site, your browser retrieves the cookie and sends it back, allowing the website to recognize you right away. Now, most cookies fall into the general category of HTTP cookies, used across the web for various purposes. Let's dive into the different types of cookies and how they work. Session cookies are temporary and only last for the duration of your visit. Think of them kind of like a barista who remembers what you've ordered while you're in the coffee shop, so they know what to charge you during the visit. Session cookies help websites remember your actions as you move between pages. They make sure the website knows it's still you, so you don't have to keep telling it your preferences or reselecting items. However, just like the barista forgets your order once you leave, session cookies disappear when you close the browser, starting fresh the next time you visit. Unlike session cookies, persistent cookies stay around much longer, almost like leaving a note for the barista with your favorite order so it's ready the next time you visit, even if it's months later. Just like the note for the barista, persistent cookies are stored on your device for a specified period set by the website or until you decide to delete them. When logging into a website, you've probably encountered a small prompt that pops up that says, remember me. Essentially, ticking this checkbox allows the website to store a persistent cookie on your device. But instead of storing your actual login credentials, it stores an encrypted session token. Each time you visit the site, this token is sent over to the server, allowing you to log in automatically without re-entering your credentials. However, while this feature adds convenience, it's essential to manage these cookies carefully, especially on shared or public devices, to ensure that others can access the websites you're logged into, like your email account or online shopping site or online banking. First party cookies. These are cookies set by the website you're actually visiting, much like how a coffee shop only keeps track of its own customers. First party cookies, also known as same site cookies, are specifically created and used by the website you're on to remember your activity and preferences. This makes your experience smoother as the website can tailor its content based on your previous interactions. Now, here's where things get interesting. Third-party cookies. Imagine if, while you're in your favorite coffee shop, a stranger handed you a loyalty card from another store. That's essentially what third-party cookies do. These cookies are set by entities other than the website you're visiting. They're mainly used for tracking your behavior across different sites and are a key tool for advertisers who want to show you targeted ads based on your browsing history. So next time you visit your favorite online store, expect to see their ads on other websites as well, unless you start rejecting those tasty cookies. So now this name sounds scary, and they kinda are. Zombie cookies are quite clever and persistent. Imagine ordering a drink at your coffee shop, finishing it, and the barista clears your cup away. But when you come back the next day, that same cup reappears at your table, as if it never left. That's how zombie cookies work. Unlike a standard cookie, a zombie cookie can reappear after you delete it from your normal cookie cache, since it can be stored in multiple locations on your computer with backups in the browser. Even if you delete a zombie cookie, its dormant copy stored elsewhere will respawn the cookie using Quantcast technology. The primary purpose of these cookies is to track you across multiple websites using cookie syncing. Cookie syncing enables web trackers like zombie cookies to link your user ID across different websites and gather as much information about you as possible, which is the main purpose of zombie cookies. Secure cookies are HTTP cookies that enhance security by requiring encryption during transmission. When a cookie is marked with the secure attribute, it can 
only be sent over HTTPS connections, which use SSL or TLS encryption to safeguard the data. This ensures that the cookie's content, such as sensitive session information, is protected from interception and tampering by malicious actors on the network. By enforcing this encryption, secure cookies help maintain the confidentiality and integrity of user data as it travels between the user's browser and the web server, reducing the risk of data breaches and enhancing overall web security. Cookies play a key role in enhancing our online experience by enabling personalization and convenience, but they also pose serious privacy risks. They can track your browsing habits, gather personal information, create detailed profiles, often sharing this data with third parties, raising concerns about how your information is collected and used. In 2018, the European Union introduced the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR for short a comprehensive law designed to protect user privacy and regulate data handling practices. While GDPR covers a wide range of privacy-related issues, it also requires websites to obtain explicit consent from users before storing cookies and ensures that users are given the option to reject them. Despite these protections, many sites employ dark patterns, design strategies that manipulate users into making decisions they might not otherwise choose. For example, the accept all button is often prominently displayed while the reject option is hidden in less obvious areas or buried within multiple menus. These deceptive practices undermine the intent of GDPR by making it harder for users to make informed decisions about their privacy and subtly pushing them towards accepting cookies without fully understanding the implications. Another major concern with cookies is cyber attacks, especially since cookies can contain some very sensitive and personal information about the user. Two of the most concerning threats related to cookies are cookie theft and session hijacking. Cookies often contain sensitive information like your authentication tokens, user preferences, or session data. If an attacker gains access to your cookies, they can potentially steal this information and impersonate you online. This could lead to unauthorized access of your accounts or even identity theft. Cookie theft typically occurs through methods like cross-site scripting, also called XSS, where attackers inject malicious code into a website to capture your cookies, or through unsecured Wi-Fi networks where cookies can be intercepted as they travel between your device and a server. Session hijacking is a more targeted attack where an attacker takes over your active session on a website. Since cookies are used to maintain your session, keeping you logged in and remembering your actions, an attacker who steals your session cookie can essentially step into your session as if they were you. This could allow them to perform actions on your behalf, such as making unauthorized purchases or accessing sensitive information or even changing your account settings. This type of attack is particularly dangerous because it can go unnoticed until significant damage has been done. To protect yourself from cookie theft and session hijacking, it's essential to follow a few key security practices. First, always use websites with HTTPS rather than plain old HTTP, as it encrypts the data, including cookies, between your browser and the server making it harder for attackers to intercept them. Additionally, enable two-factor authentication for all of your accounts, since it adds an extra layer of security, even if an attacker manages to hijack your session or steal your cookie. You can check more about 2FA in our MFA video explained here. Additionally, consider using private browsing or incognito mode to limit cookie storage and consider using browser settings to control cookies, such as enabling do not track mode, Install browser extensions like Privacy Badger or uBlock Origin to manage and block unwanted cookies and opt out of tracking cookies on websites that offer this option. Also, when using public Wi-Fi, avoid logging into sensitive accounts if you can, and if you really need to, use a VPN or a virtual private network to encrypt your internet traffic, including cookies. Finally, make sure to regularly clear the cookies in your browser. Here's how you can clear cookies from your browser. 
To clear cookies in Chrome, select the three dots in the upper right corner and select Settings. Under Privacy and Security, choose Delete Browsing Data. Select Cookies and Other Site Data. Pick the time range you want and then click Delete Data. For Safari, go to the Safari menu, select Preferences. Under Privacy, click Manage Website Data. You can either remove all to clear all cookies or select specific sites and then click Remove. As we've discussed, cookies are an integral part of how websites enhance your online experience, from remembering authentication tokens to personalizing content. But they also have a dark side and are frequently used to track you online. So next time a website asks you to accept their full jar of cookies, maybe don't just click the largest button right away. Make sure to check what's in the jar first. For more in-depth training and resources, including preparation for certifications like the CISSP, check out our site at deskcert.com and stay safe online.